celebrate is kind of a complicated word. Um, and only because I think that in, in what is called Western culture, that, that there's a kind of a struggle to recognize that lots of things can be true at the same time. And so obviously the emancipation of enslaved Africans in this country is something to celebrate. Yes, that moment in time, we need to recognize that and we need to remember that. And, you know, to borrow from my other culture of my youth, never forget that that happened here. And so we must celebrate the end of that kind of barbarism that occurred in this country. At the same time, we know that today and from that point until today and continuing through tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow, that black people, not just in this country, because anti-blackness is global, that anti-blackness and the consequences of this experiment in settler colonialism where we go and take land from people and then bring other people here to try to make something of it when it was already something. But that experiment has these long ranging consequences that we're still, still dealing with today and that we see around the world. And so because that is still the reality and because there are changes that need to occur on a global scale, systemic foundational changes, um, about how the human animal exists on this planet, <laughs> because we have to acknowledge that at the same time, that's what makes Celebrate complicated because I can't stop thinking about, and I never forget, and it's always on my mind, everything else, even in the midst of a celebration. So I, you know, I celebrate and I smile, and I remember that there's more to do.